Let us study about dorsal digital expansion. To study about the dorsal digital expansion, we should know the articulated hand. This is an articulated hand. These are the carpal bones. This is the metacarpal bone. Okay, these are the metacarpal bones and these are the phalanges. So the proximal phalanx, the middle phalanx and the distal phalanx. Okay. Next thing we need to know some of the muscles and the tendons which are forming this dorsal digital expansion okay so this is actually the dorsum okay this is the dorsum so this is the dorsal view of the articulated hand this is a dorsal view of articulated hand and here what you are seeing this tendon is the extensor digitorum tendon it's a tendon of extensor digitorum okay next we can see these muscles between the metacarpal bones so it is called introsia so this is the dorsal introsia similarly we have palmar introsia and finally is the ventral side okay is the ventral side of the articulated hand ventral side of the articulated hand what you are seeing is the the long flexor tendon okay is the long flexor tendon the flexor digitorum profundus and similarly we will have superficialis these are the muscles which are taking origin from the flexor digitorum profundus this is actually the lumbricals okay this is actually the lumbricals now knowing all these structures now we can understand the concept of dorsal digital expansion now we'll come back to the dorsum of the hand this articulated hand dorsal view now this tendon is the extensor digitorum we can see this extensor digitorum tendon is continuing after this expanded portion after this expanded portion and this expanded portion is called extensor expansion or the extensor hood okay this is the extensor hood which is roughly triangular which is roughly triangular this is formed from this tendon itself and if you see from here we have two slips okay we have two slips running laterally and a center slip which is running forwards okay the center slip is getting attached to the base of the middle phalanx so this is the proximal phalanx the middle phalanx is the distal phalanx so the center slip of the tendon is getting inserted to the base of the middle phalanx and the two lateral slips are converging as it goes distally and gets inserted to the base of the distal phalanx and gets inserted to the base of the distal phalanx now these lateral slips are strengthened and thickened by the insertion of the these muscles okay the dorsal and the palmar introsia now what you are seeing is actually the dorsal introsia and we can see the tendon of the dorsal introsia getting inserted to the lateral slip similarly we have the palmar introsia which will also come and get inserted into the lateral slip and from the ventral side we also have the tendon of this lumbricals okay from the ventral side we also have the tendon of lumbricals which will go dorsally and gets inserted to the lateral aspect of the lateral aspect of these lateral slips okay to strengthen the lateral slip now by understanding the concept of arrangement of structures in the dorsum of the hand now we can explain the dorsal digital expansion now this dorsal digital expansion is roughly a triangular extensor tendon okay expansion of the triangular extensor tendon which has a base and an apex okay which has a base and an apex as we see the base is located somewhere at the distal end of the metacarpal bone distal end of the metacarpal bone or we can tell it is located at the metacarpophalangeal joint at the level of the metacarpophalangeal joint and the apex is directed downwards that is distally okay the apex is directed distally and the tendon continues forwards to get inserted into the base of the middle phalanx base of the middle phalanx now one more thing what we need to know about this expansion is it is also connected to the flexor tendons okay it is also connected to the flexor tendons by the transverse and oblique retinacular ligaments okay so this these are the flexor tendons okay flexor tendon is also connected to the flexor tendons by the transverse and oblique retinacular ligaments now coming to the applied importance okay just imagine the distal attachment of this lateral slips get injured okay like in case of a blow uh, blow over the tip of the finger which causes this type of flexion deform uh, this type of uh, hyperflexion 
so this distal tendon may get ruptured once it get ruptured the extension at the distal interphalangeal joint is not happening okay so the extension of the distal interphalangeal joint is not happening so what happens is there will be a flexion deformity of the distal interphalangeal joint this type of flexion deformity in case of the distal interphalangeal joint and this condition is called mallet finger this condition is called mallet finger then there is one more condition where there is injury to this tendon that is the middle slip okay injury to this middle slip which is getting attached to the proximal uh, the middle interphalangeal joint which is getting attached and the acting on the middle interphalangeal joint where it is getting attached attached to the base of the middle phalanx it is getting attached to the base of the middle phalanx when this is injured what will happen is the extension at the middle interphalangeal joint is impaired so what happens is there is a flexion deformity at the middle interphalangeal joint along with a hyperextension at the distal interphalangeal joint along with the hyper hyperextension at the distal interphalangeal joint okay so this kind of deformity is called botanyes deformity okay botanyes deformity so this is about the anatomy and applied importance of this extensor hood or the dorsal digital expansion